Hello, my name is Björn Lindahl and I'm a professor at SLU in Uppsala. Now we are in the forest Lundsen close to Uppsala and I will show you a little bit how the trees interact with fungi in the soil. Come. So as you can see here the Scandinavian forest is usually quite open and there's a lot of sunlight coming in through the canopies. So there is usually enough of light for the uh, trees to carry out their photosynthesis up here in the crowns. The needles capture the sunlight and turn the light energy into sugars that are then transported down the trunk of the trees to the roots out in the soil. But the sugars for photosynthesis are not enough for the trees to grow. They also need nutrients and water that they take up from the soil by the roots. And it's usually a competition for nutrients between the trees that limits their growth. The more nutrients the tree can get, the more quickly can they grow big. So to take up nutrients from the soil, the trees associate it with the small friends, fungi, that grow in the soil. And we will take a closer look on what this association looks like. If we try to lift the moss here a little bit, look. It's full of fungal mycelium here. All these yellow and white structures here are fungi that grow together with the roots. These fungi are called mycorrhizal fungi. This comes from Greek mykos, meaning fungi, and rhizon, meaning roots, fungus root. The fungi live in tight symbiosis with the living trees. They get all the carbon they need in the form of sugars from the trees' photosynthesis. And in return, the fungi provide the trees with nutrients that they take up from the soil. The fine mycelium that grows out, out in the soil is really efficient in mobilizing nutrients from organic matter in the soil. Many of the fungi here produce powerful enzymes that can attack organic compounds in the soil. Here you can see different types of fungi. There are some white here that are probably cortinaria species, spider mushrooms. And the yellow one here is in Latin, it's called Pilodarma. It's very common in Sweden. This is a fruit body, a structure that the fungi produce to release spores from the underside here. Most of the fungi that we see that form mushroom in the forest, like rushulas, like this one, chanterelles or bolides, are mycorrhizal fungi. They live in symbiotic association with the trees. But the fruit bodies, they only make up a small proportion of the fu fungal biomass. Most of the fungus is in the form of the mycelium that spread out through the soil. In order to better understand how the trees and the fungi interact to regulate the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere and the future climate. We need to get a better understanding how these hidden organisms work and behave in the ground.